This is the most important video that I'm gonna post this year. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some of my favorite magicians in the world. And at the end, I'm gonna do a contest where a whole bunch of you are gonna win some of my best magic for free. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so first things first, I know a lot of you are thinking, hey Spidey, you said you were gonna do a tutorial this week. What's up with that, man? Well, let me explain what happened. First of all, at the end of this video, not just one of you, but a whole bunch of you are going to win some of my greatest material for free. So a lot of you are gonna get those free tutorials, but let me tell you why I had to shift gears. Uh, the trick that I was gonna teach you guys this week required me to perform it for someone before I teach it. And I was supposed to go do that on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I got up, I started looking at social media, I started you know, learning about what's going on out there, and I, my heart was just broken. I've told you this on the channel before, my magic comes from my heart, so if this isn't right, the magic just isn't gonna look right. I think that right now in the world's history is a very important time for all of us to stand up and be very vocal against racism, not just passive, but really active about that and show our black neighbors, friends, brothers and sisters that they have our full support. And I know that a lot of people right now are saying, I don't have a thousand dollars right now to give to charity, and that's fine. I don't think that all donations necessarily have a price tag. You could show your support by being more vocal. You could show your support by encouraging local businesses that are owned by black people, or you can go out and encourage black artists. And that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about seven black magicians who I love to watch, who have inspired me as artists, and that I think everybody should be familiar with. And I'm really hoping that since there are so many magic lovers on this channel, that you guys are gonna go check out their work, follow them on social media, and show your support for the amazing work that they're doing and get inspired by these incredible artists. Now, I'm very aware of the fact that this list is incomplete. There are hundreds more out there who are incredible at what they do. So, if there's one that comes to mind that I missed on this list, please let us know in the comments who that is so that everybody could go check them out as well. So without any further ado, in no particular order, this isn't a countdown or anything like that, here is the list of my favorite seven black magicians. First on the list, we have Mr. Joshua Masato. Now in the beginning of the 21st century, magic started to change. It became a lot more urban, a lot more trendy, a lot more cool. And a lot of magicians thought that classic magic tricks like the linking rings did not have a place in this new world of urban magic. Well, they were wrong. Joshua Masato is the godfather of modern ring magic. With an endless number of techniques, displays, and routines he's created, he has brought the linking rings into the 21st century. And he uses his routines to blow the minds of not only audiences all over the world, but some of the best magicians in the world, such as David Copperfield. Masato doesn't do magic, he is magic. I remember a couple of years ago, we were in California filming a TV show, and we're at a Walmart running an errand, and he was just doing his usual thing, letting the rings flow, and there was this little kid standing there, eyes wide open, jaw on the floor, looking up at him, and without missing a single beat, Joshua just leaned over and kept doing his magic for this kid. He made that moment for this kid. It was such a heartwarming experience for me, and that's what earned him a place on this list. Next up, we have the youngest person on the list, Kashan Wallace. Kashan has a real knack for inventing extremely visual magic. Things that make your eyes just pop right out of your head. Hold on, wait, no, 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 did you guys see that? Bring that back. He's enormously talented, he's extremely fun to watch, and I have a great time following him, and I hope you will as well. Next up is my man Randy Shine, one of my closest friends in magic, and what an honor it is to call him a friend. If magic was a human being, Randy would be its soul. There is such a beauty to watching him perform. He has great energy on stage and off stage. He is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Often at conferences, we hang out, we go to movies, we've had dinner together, and it's always such a pleasure. In fact, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is because I saw how affected such a kind person was by what was going out there in the world, and a lot of this is because of him. He is an awesome person, he's an incredible performer, and I highly encourage you to go check his material out. Next up, we have one of the greatest minds and thinkers in magic, Marcus Eddy. Now, Marcus Eddy is one of those people who's so kind that when he's talking to you, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, like, why are you being so kind to me? What's, what are you really thinking? Then you realize he's not actually really thinking anything more, he's actually that kind. Always big smile, always super kind, ton of fun to hang out with, 
Marcus uses his amazing ability to create custom and original magic to consult for some of the biggest magicians in the world. He is also one of very few performers who's been invited to perform on Penn & Teller Fool Us not just once, but twice. Wait, we're allowed to go on Fool Us more than one time? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spidey from season two. Hope you guys are well. Listen, I was thinking maybe I could come back on the show. I've got a couple of great new tricks. I think you'll really, hello? Uh, they, they said they'll think about it. That did fool us. Bad. Really bad. <laughs> Speaking of performers who have been on Fool Us twice, next up we have Eric Jones. Now I think it's very difficult nowadays to have a very long conversation about close-up magic or more specifically coin magic without the name Eric Jones coming up. In a world of magic where there are creators and performers, Eric Jones excels at both. He has some of the top material out there where he teaches his own brand of coin magic, but he's also had multiple performances on television, including a great run on America's Got Talent. And imagine that I can take one of the coins out, make it invisible and toss it away. That would of course leave only three coins in your hands. Dump them onto the table, show them what you've got. Oh, come on. Right here. While we're on the subject of amazing TV appearances, next up is one of my good friends, Kid Ace. Now, Kid Ace is as good live as he is on TV, as good on stage as he is close up, right in your face. He is an incredible magician, and above all, he's an amazing guy. His manipulation act with doves is one of the best I've ever seen, and you could catch him all over your television performing for major celebrities like Bill Nye the Science Guy, Kelly Clarkson, and Steve Harvey. And now we have made it to the last, but definitely not least, performer on the list. And to tell you who this is, I have to tell you a quick story. So I was 13 years old and I was watching a TV special called The World's Greatest Magic, hosted by the late John Ritter. I was witnessing act after act of grand illusionists, close-up magicians, comedy magicians, and then something happened that changed my life. A couple walked out on stage. The husband went into the audience and asked random people that he's never met to stand up. And on stage stood his wife, an elegant, mysterious woman who put on a blindfold and proceeded to tell these people secrets, intimate things about them that nobody could possibly know. I do think that's Brian. What is your name? Brian. I want to try something else with you right now. I want you actually to think of your birthday for me. December the 30th? 30th? Yes, it is. Yes. Wow. You want to go for the years? Totally up to you. Yeah, the year test. Let me try this with you. You're thinking of the 70s. 19... 76? 76? That's right. Thank you very right. much. You got it. Fantastic. Thank yes. you. I was glued to my screen. I mean, I thought I was witnessing a real psychic. How can you explain that? This woman knew things about these people that nobody could possibly know. I had to know how to do this. I had to be able to learn that. Tessa Evison is the reason I'm a mentalist. The Evisons introduced me to the greatest love of my life, the art of mentalism. It's a debt I can never repay and I will forever be thankful. More than a decade after that television special, I was now a professional mentalist and I was performing at a showcase and as I looked at the performers on the list performing that night, I saw a name I couldn't believe. It said The Evisons. I had to ask production, was this The Evisons? And it turns out it was. I thought I was gonna pass out, I couldn't believe it. When they walked in the room, I was enormously nervous. They had every right to be dismissive or not give me any attention but they were the exact opposite and have been ever since. Incredibly gracious, incredibly kind, and infinitely supportive and encouraging of my career. I am lucky enough today to call them both very good friends that I look up to. I can say this without any fear of contradiction. I have never seen better at what you're doing. And it is just fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tessa Evison is one half of the greatest mentalism act in the world. And I say this very conscious of the fact that I'm one of the mentalism acts of the world, but I also know when I'm beat, and this is one of those times. They are as amazing and incredible today as they were when I saw them on that television screen, and I highly, highly encourage you to go check out 
the Evisons. So there it was, that was my list of favorite black magicians. Now it's time for the contest. In today's contest, seven of you are going to win a digital copy of my At The Table Magic Lecture. This is eight of my absolute favorite routines taught and explained fully. So that's eight amazing tutorials and three of you are going to win a digital copy of Induction, my entire hypnosis method from beginning to end. Everything you need to know to hypnotize people is in that video. Here are the contest rules. In the description of this video, I included social media links for all the amazing magicians that I talked about today. Take a little bit of time, go check out their social medias, watch their videos, check out their content, watch their tricks, then come back to this video and in the comments, let me know what's one thing you saw that you absolutely loved. Be specific, it could be from any one of the magicians, describe it to me and tell me why you loved it. If you tell me about one thing in the comments, in your comment that you loved, I will automatically sign you up to win one of seven copies of my lecture. If you tell me in one comment about three different things that you saw, from any of the magicians, it could be any three, it could be all three from the same or one from each, doesn't matter. If there are three things, I will sign you up to win induction, my entire hypnosis method. So that is the contest, those are the rules. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I will see you on the next one.